In this tutorial, we are going to talk about rendering scenes and producing rendered images in Simlab Composer. From the Render menu, click Real-Time Rendering or press F4 on your keyboard. Once you're satisfied with the image quality, click on the Capture Image button. Set the path and name of the image you're about to save, and set the type of the image. You can save it as a PNG image, which is commonly used for the ability to conserve all color data in the image along with the alpha, or JPEG. Also, you can use the option PNG without background. Saving the image without the background will replace the empty areas of a render with an alpha value. Select Clay Rendering from the Render menu. The Clay Render is a diagnostic tool that renders your image without calculating the material attributes. It's a great tool that allows you to see how the lights and shadow affect your rendering in an accurate manner. Fixed Rendering is used to produce a final render for your scene. It has a fixed resolution that can be changed from the output settings. Notice that unlike the real-time rendering, the scene is protected and any modifications you apply to the scene will not affect the rendering process. To save the rendered image, use the Capture Image icon following the same steps as saving a real-time rendering image. An additional rendering tool is Rendering to File. Rendering the scene to file is an automated process that renders the scene and automatically saves the rendered image on your hard drive. Once the rendering reaches a certain SPP, it will automatically stop the rendering and create an image in a path that you specify from the render output settings. Go to the output settings in the render menu. In the output settings tab, you will find the attributes that control the fixed rendering, the rendering to file, and the animation rendering. You can specify the image format and set the resolution of the rendered image. You can also determine the path and file name of the rendered image, and choose whether to automatically open the output folder once the rendering is complete. The last setting you can control in the Output Settings tab is the Sample Per Pixel. The Sample Per Pixel slider is a quality control attribute that determines how many SPP to calculate in each frame rendered in the case of rendering and animation. It also controls when the rendering to file process should end. In this example, it is set to 500. So when we use the Render to File tool, the rendering process stopped at 500 and the image was automatically saved according to the path and file name set above. I have created a simple camera animation in the scene. Go to the Animation tab in the panel at the bottom and click Play to start the animation. From the Render menu, click on Animation. In the Render Animation dialog, determine the range of frames you want to render and click Start to render an image sequence that will be named and saved according to the settings you have selected in the Output Settings tab. A useful tool that can be used to render a long animation is the Rendering Package. From the Render menu, select Distribute Package. The Render Packages allows you to distribute your scene into packages that can be rendered using multiple machines. In this window you can determine the range of frames to render, and the number of machines that will be used to render each package. Choose the path and name for the Render Packages and click on Generate Rendering Package.
Notice that it created four rendering packages since we set the number of machines to be used as four. You can also see that the name of the package contains the number of frames that it has to render. The first package has the frames range 0 to 25. The second has the range 26 to 50, and so on, until the packages cover the whole range of frames you need to render. To render a package, select Render Package from the Render menu. Select the rendering package you have created. and set the path where the rendered images will be saved, then click on Start Rendering. A sequence of images has been created in the path that you have selected. Simlab Composer has the ability to convert those images to a video file, which is a more practical way to save and share your rendered animation. Go to the Animation Workbench and from the Video menu, click on Movie Maker. Click on Add and set it to the path where the image sequence is saved. You can also add an audio file to play along with the animation. Set the quality of the video and the frame per second settings to be used for creating the video. You can choose among a wide range of video file formats to be used for the movie you are making. Set the path where you need to save the animation and click Create. SimLab Composer's rendering is very simple to use and can produce amazing results without much effort, offering several tools to help you achieve your tasks with ease.